So I received an email from a Turkish photographer named Berat Ustamir and he sensed something strange with the saturation slider in Photoshop. You can read the whole question, but his question is pretty straightforward. Let me take you through it. So here we have a color with hue, zero degrees, saturation, 100% at the brightness, 100%, right? Even if you check it, it will show you the saturation is 100 and the brightness is also 100. However, if you go ahead and create a hue saturation adjustment layer, right? And if you decrease the saturation, now when you check the colors, so if you go back to the color picker and you pick this color, have a look. The saturation was meant to be zero because we decreased it, but the brightness now is 50%. Why the hell is this happening? That was his question. Very interesting one. Now, let's take another case. So here we have another color, but this time the brightness is already 50%. If you check it, you can also check it if you wish to. Take a look. It is in the middle. The brightness is 50. Saturation is 100. If you again decrease the saturation in the hue saturation adjustment, and then if you check it again, have a look. The brightness is again halved. Why? It's 25 now. So why is all of this happening? Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixin Perfect, and today we will learn why do we seem to lose brightness every time we decrease the saturation? Or is it what it's really happening? <laughs> we'll find out. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the magical world of Photoshop, and let's get straight to it. Why is this happening? Actually, the answer is, it's not actually happening. Take a look at this. Whenever you're working with hue saturation, you're working with the hue saturation lightness, HSL color model. And if you're working with the color picker right here, you're working with the HSB color model. Both are similar, but they are absolutely not the same. Now, what is the difference between both of these color models? To understand it better, let's take a look at some easy diagrams. So on our left, we have a graphical representation of the HSL color model. And on our right, we have the HSB. In other words, it's also called HSV. It's the same thing. So to understand it better, we need to understand what does HSL stand for and what do they mean? All right, so H right here stands for hue. Now, what is hue? Hue just determines what color is it? All right. So every degree represents a color. So hue ranges from zero to 360 degrees. So even if you look at the color picker, hue is same in both of the cases in HSL and HSB or HSV, hue is the same. All right. So here we have a zero degree. It is red. We take it up 112 degree. It is a shade of green, right? So hue determines what color is it? So every angle determines a hue right here. So all around the circle, are different values of hue. So let's say, let me take a brush right here so that it's easy for you to understand. So let's take a color. So let's say it's two degrees right here, it's zero degree right here, and 45, and then we go ahead and increase it, right? And it gets back right here to 360 degrees. So that is why when you go ahead and choose the hue, zero degree, and if you go at the very top, it goes to 360 and goes back to zero because it comes in circle to the exact same position. So that's how hue is represented right here. Take a look at the arrow of the hue right here. As you change the angle, the color changes. Hue is the only determining factor of what color is it, right? Saturation and lightness or saturation and brightness only modify that color. Think of it that way. Now, what does S stand for? You already know it. It's saturation. Now, saturation determines the intensity of color how much color there is. So once you have decided the hue, let's say I've decided the hue to be zero degrees, which is red, then you decide the saturation of how much of red do you want. The more the saturation, the more the intensity of the red you will have. Now, as you decrease the saturation right here, take a look. It slowly and gradually becomes gray, right? Because the intensity of the color is being decreased and slowly and gradually the color is going away and it's turning gray grayscale, right? So all in all, in this diagram, you can clearly see that the center is neutral. As you move away from the center, have a look at the arrow of saturation, the saturation or the intensity of the color increases. So as you move towards the center, the saturation decreases. And finally, for HSL, lightness is very simple to explain. Lightness is simply adding white or black. That's all. The more the lightness, the more white you are adding. And finally, at the very top, it's absolutely white. The less the lightness, the more black you're adding. And finally, at the very low end, you have absolute black. That's all there is to it. So let's say you chose a dark bluish color where the intensity of the color is not that much. Where do you think that would be in this graph? Now, keep in mind, we told dark 
blue. So it would have a lower lightness. Now lightness is determined from here to here, from bottom to top, right? So it would be somewhere around here. The lightness would be somewhere around here. Dark, it is bluish. So the hue would be somewhere around bluish. So that particular degree right here. And the saturation, it's not very saturated. Remember, we told you the color intensity is not that much. So it would be somewhere around right here. Right. So understand how this works right now. If it doesn't make sense, please rewatch it. It is very important to understand before we move forward in explaining as to why this thing is happening. Now let's take a look at HSB or HSV. Brightness or value is basically the same thing. Now in here as well, the hue is around the angle. It's the same as HSL. The hue is the same. Similarly here as well, hue determines what color. So if you chose zero degrees, it would be red and you can go ahead and increase the degrees and it comes back to the same position. Saturation is the intensity of the color and here as well, if you move away from the center, the saturation increases. If you move towards the center, the saturation decreases and you reach neutral right here. Now, here we don't have lightness. This is the differentiating factor. Also, the saturation right here works a little differently. First of all, let's understand how brightness works. Now, Brightness is like lightness, but the lowest value here is absolute black, right? And the highest value of brightness can be white and it can also be a color. But if you look at HSL, the lowest value is always black and the highest value is always white because we are adding white as we go up and adding black as we go down. But with HSB, it is a little different. As we go down, we definitely sure are adding black, but as we go up, look at the maximum value. If the saturation is zero, if you are moving away from the edge and towards the center, if it's absolutely zero, we are talking about saturation right here, at the maximum value of brightness, it would be white, right? But at the maximum value of brightness, if you start to increase the saturation, it can be any other color. Of course, bright color. So in a nutshell, we can say that at the lowest lightness level of the HSL color model, it's a point. There is no space to increase the saturation. It's going to be black no matter what. And at the highest point, because it's a point and there is no space to go away from the center, it's going to be white no matter what. But this looks like half of the HSL. And that is why HSL is symmetric when it comes to lightness and darkness and HSB is not. At the bottom, it will be black no matter what. There is no space for expansion in saturation dimension. But at the very top, there is an option for that. So I wanted to ask you one final time. Is everything clear? If it is, let's move on. If it isn't, please rewatch it. It's very, very important, not only for this question, not only for this project, but many more future projects and works to come. All right, let's get to it. So let us say this is the HSL color model. Now, from bottom to top, what goes up? The lightness. So, in the middle, let's draw a line and this stands for lightness. Now, as we move away from the center, what do we have? Saturation. And around in an angle, what does that stand for? Hue. So, let's say we took this color, which is a bright saturated red with the most amount of colors. So, if we pick that color, take a look. Bright red, most amount of color, it would be somewhere around, let's say, right here where the degree is zero. Now, if we do decrease the saturation using the HSL model, have a look, inside of hue saturation, we are using the HSL model. Now, if we decrease the saturation, what happens? It moves towards the center. So as it moves towards the center, it would be right over here if we decrease the saturation all the way to the left-hand side. So now, what color is this? What do you think is this? So right here, it's absolute black zero. At the top, it's absolute white. So what do you think would be in the middle? It's cutting. I'm sorry about it. So what do you think would be in the middle? 50, right? And that explains it all. So if you decrease the saturation to the left hand side, and if you try to pick this color, have a look. 50. <laughs> That's why it is happening. Now, if you do use the HSB, here's what happens. So this is the HSB color model. Okay. Now, from bottom to top, brightness. From center to outwards, we have saturation and around we have hue in different angles. So it's the same color we pick right here. 
And if we decrease the saturation using HSB, here's what happens. It is at this point, and this point is what? Absolute white, and this point is absolute black. In other words, zero. In other words, 100. So now if you go inside of color picker and pick this red, and if you do decrease the saturation, have a look, brightness is at 100 and it's absolute white. Make sense, right? Let's take a look at case number two. In case number two, we pick a color which is between the most saturated red, the color which has the most amount of color in it, and black, right? So in HSL, this is HSL, and this is HSB, just to make it clear, in HSL, that color would be between this point and this point. So it would be somewhere around right here. Now in this case, if we do decrease the saturation, it will move towards the center at this point, right? And what do you think would be this point? This is zero, this would be 25, this is 50, this is 75. So that is why when we do decrease the saturation and if we do try to pick the color, have a look, 25. However, in HSB or HSV, that color would be somewhere around right here. And if you do decrease the saturation, it moves towards the center. And what is this point, do you think? This is zero, this is 50, this is 100. So this position would be 50. So if you look at the color picker, and then if you choose that color, which is which was in the middle, so let's choose the middle color. And then if you do decrease the saturation, have a look, it's 50, 50% gray. It all makes sense right now. Let us do a quick little recap. The basic difference between HSL and HSB color model is this. If you focus on the saturation component, in HSL, the saturation ranges from color to its equivalent gray. All right. So if it's a brighter color, and if it's right here, if you decrease the saturation all the way to the left hand side, it will result in its equivalent gray right? So it would be a brighter gray if you pick this color. It would be 50% gray if you pick this color. It would be a little darker gray if you pick this color, right? But in HSB, if the brightness value or brightness, so if that is at 100%, if it's at its highest, and the saturation is zero, it would be white. It won't be its equivalent gray. It would be white. The second major difference is this. The HSL color model is symmetrical. It spans the entire range from absolute black to the hue of your choice. So let's say you chose green or blue to the hue of your choice to absolute white, right? So it goes from black to white, okay? Or white to black, however you want to call it. Okay, it goes from black to your chosen hue. If the saturation is zero, it would be gray, and then to absolute white. However, HSB is not symmetrical. It goes from black to, it can be white if the saturation is zero, or it can be any other bright color if the saturation is not zero. So all in all for HSB, it goes from black to the chosen hue, where the saturation determines whether it's going to be white or not. I hope all of this made sense. If you want to learn more about it, I highly recommend this website called colorizer.org, org, however you pronounce it. Here you can play with HSL, HSB, HSV, CMYK, and see how the colors are affected here and there. So as you're playing with HSL, see how HSB is being affected. And if you scroll down, they have all the models that we discussed, and I used this website as a research as well for this lesson. So all of the differences, the explanation, everything is right here. You can use it as your study material. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. And by the way, if you want a dedicated video about the differences between HSB and HSL or differences between brightness and lightness, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to create a video about it. Thank you so very much for watching. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting Piximperfect on Patreon and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. Thanks so much again for your time. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. What can I do?